Hey guys and welcome back to PFC Vlog. Today I'm going to talk about the transfer window for Pompey. Um, I think if we want to make playoffs or I'd say automatic title push or pro or to top two, then we need to get some quality players. Now, the problem that I have is we we get linked with these players who were not used to league foot, English league football, used to Australia football that probably is nowhere near as good as League One, League Two, Championship, Premier League. So we need someone like an older Premier League player or a young Premier League player like Antron Walks, who we had on loan, or well, he wasn't on loan, but Luke McGee, someone like that. Oh, it annoys me when people say we need a new goalkeeper because we clearly don't. Because McGee's made a few mistakes, he's young. Henderson back on loan next year would be nice. So they could rotate Basses. He impressed me in that Peterborough game. And he could be used for cup games. So goalkeepers is fine. Centre backs. Clark, which our oh, admissions keep hold of Clark. Burgess, got to keep hold of Burgess as well because he's quality and what, what more we will keep hold of, hopefully. Left backs, Donahue. I would like. To, Des Landers, because when he did play, which I only think was twice, he, he really impressed me. Especially in that um, game against Dillingham. He was good then, very good. And I've heard that he was good in the game away to Rotherham, but I couldn't watch it. Uh, right backs. Thompson, yeah. It, hope I want to get walks again on loan next season, or permanently would be nice. Um, or a back three would be nice as well. Have a back three. Gareth Evans can play right back. But I think, well, Thompson could play centre back, centre mid as well. So I'd say we would need a new right back. Walker Peters would be nice. But I'm saying someone, I think he's on loan at, at Oxford, or even if he's there permanently, Todd Kane, right back for Oxford. is very good. Chelsea Academy. Great right back. I'd definitely love to see him at Pompey. Or, um, I can't really think of anyone else. But, you know, right back. Said that, you know, Anton Walks, Todd Kane, be happy with. I'd say centre mid. Probably. The position that got the most injuries last season, which maybe if we had Danny Rose, if he didn't break his leg on the last day, which is not his fault at all, but and it was fifty fifty challenge as well, so you know it was no one's to blame for that. You'd say the centre mids got Mays, but he's been he's been outstanding last season. He may have had a few dodgy performances, but then so has everyone. I'm very impressed with May. What more could play centre mid? But he played there once, and he's. He's a centre back. I can't glass him as a centre mid at all, really. He played there one game and he was more of a CDM. Thompson could play centre mid and he, he's quite impressive there. I would say if we got walks online, he could play centre mid, but I don't don't know what's, what his jacket's going to do. What any jacket's going to do for that? Close quality. I'm trying to think. Maybe a centre mid, like, I know that this might be taking it too far, or maybe he wouldn't, I, I don't know, but, but Jack Wardrell from Sunderland, I know it would be a huge set down for him and he probably wouldn't accept it, but he hasn't been on the best form at the minute, or I know he may have been charged for drink driving and he's banned from football, and it'd be a big step down for him. Another Sunderland player, Darren Gibson, let's have him at the club. But disciplinary, I I say I wouldn't quite want a player who's been arrested for drink driving and seen drunk in a pub loads of times because that would put, I don't want a bad image on the club. But sometimes you need rebellious people, like when Joe Barton was at Burnley and all that. Just to make the club better, you, you just don't know, do you? Yeah, I said centre mids. 
I said my interest if we did get a centre mid like them them two left mid I I really want Kennedy back on loan. I wouldn't really want anyone else because I if I give player of the season I'll give it to Matty Kennedy. Outstanding, absolutely outstanding player. We need we need Kennedy back next season. There's no one else who I want really. A left mid that would be realistic. That there's there's just no one else, not at all. Not at all. I'd, Maybe Andy Bartsman from AC Wimbledon will have him back again. Or I think he's a striker and left mid. Lyle Taylor from AFC Wimbledon. But that's it really because we, we got some good players in left mid. Still up front. <laughs> Unbelievable season for Brett Pittman. Connor Chaplin. I think Chaplin still got to develop a bit more. I think people may not think, yeah, he's a bit older. He's still got stuff to develop. He's he's still a young player. Um, Hawkins, great player. Play centre back. Play striker. Definitely. But I'd say I know it's again it's another Oxford player. But Wes Thomas back at the club again. Or Tottenham's striker, Sharon Harrison. He was on loan at South End, I think, for half of the season. I'd have him as well. Um, yeah, that Ronan Curtis who we link with. You know, it'd be good. You know, cheap players, good players as well. Spend a bit of money. Hope I'm hopeful for next season. This is the end of the video, and... Remember to subscribe and see you tomorrow for tomorrow's vlog. Play up Pompey.